what God has ordained for us, we do. So how do we accept God? We worship God five times a day. You're probably aware Muslims pray five times a day as your interest in religion. But this is not something alien to even the people in this country, their beliefs, although they never understood it. So the way we pray by bowing and prostrating to God is biblical as well. It comes from the way the prophets in the Old and New Testament prayed as well. So Islam claims to be God's final revelation to mankind. It incorporates the different the Old Testament and New Testament, that which was given to Moses, that which was given to Jesus. And hence, I'll give you that as a free copy of the Quran as well. So what we then say is that one day we're all going to die. You guys are still young, maybe 18, 19, whatever. So when we then move on in our lives, and then we, one day we will die, we will be accountable for our actions. And God's going to ask us, okay, what did you do? You know, you know I gave you life. What, where did you distinguish all these factors? So this is a very fundamental component. Now, if you're, you're a young couple, for example. So if you are, and I know it sounds a bit like, uh, like hasty what I'm saying, but if you really like each other that much, marriage is the next place. Because we can't afford to have what you call premarital relations, physicality particularly, you see. Because that could lead into all types of things. As we know, destruction. Yeah. We see that how the youth are today, not that I'm judging anyone, but the youth, you know, one parent families, you know, sexual promiscuity, unhappiness, one partner, the other partner, yeah, sexually trans... Well, like, yeah. Everything's so young. Everyone's getting involved in things too young. Mm. And they're just like messing up their life. Like. Precisely. So if, for example, you want to be a couple, it becomes incumbent upon you to think of marriage. Because that's sanctity. Because obviously, if you're attracted to one another, what's going to happen next? Physical. Yeah. It's natural because you're young. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not that it doesn't, create, you know, it doesn't require rocket science to evaluate that. So, so if you're like serious about Islam, then Islam will involve you, first of all, to get married to each other. And it's, Islamic ceremonies are very, very easy, but they're legal in the sight of God. But anything you may do physically now, you see, it's not, it's not within the remit of God's what you call it, um, allowance. But it becomes legal straight away as you decide to get married to each other. It should be, it's a big step to take. However, it does give you an opportunity to reflect. Otherwise, you could both you know, succumb under this um, the onslaught of what is expected of you as young people. So that's something for you to consider. Now, what is it particular about Islam? I know I've, I've rattled on for a long time, but what is it about Islam that really um, has made you consider the religion? Like, I don't know, like, I feel like things like the Bible, just, they're just too, like, manipulative, like, I said, they just, they've been, like, rewritten by too many people. And I heard about that story that you were talking about, about the Quran, and, like, and one of my friends was talking about it as well, was saying that, um, that apparently, uh, even magicians, like, they studied the book and everything, and they couldn't find one imperfection in the Quran. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the Quran is, like, claiming, this is the beauty of it, is claiming to be the verbatim, express word of God. And no other book, religious book makes that claim. Because as I mentioned, they're written by so many different authors. Some words of God, some of people expounding their own religion, their own understanding, their own faith. So if you look at the Bible, for example, Jesus, who you'll probably be aware of, is the messenger of God. He doesn't go around the streets of Jerusalem and Bethlehem saying, here I am guys, worship me, I'm God. He, he claimed to be a prophet of God, which is what we believe. And that's what the Bible testifies as well. So if you're really interested in becoming Muslims, it's a very easy step. First of all, you accept there's only one God who is unlike his creation. He's not a man, woman, idol, statue. God sends, God sends trains as well, doesn't he? <laughs> so God sends messengers. And the messengers which I made aforementioned to you, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. God's final messengers to mankind. If you believe that intrinsically, that already makes you Muslim. Straightforward, very straightforward. Do you believe that? Have you heard of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon you? It's God's final messenger. And this is a ubiquitous religion, I meaning it's a religion appealing to everyone. Whatever colour you are, whatever creed you are, whatever background you are, people of all different you know, ethnicities are becoming Muslims. We've got an English revert brother there, eight week old, eight week old Muslim today. Eight, he became Muslim, he's outside Whitechapel Station, having a little chat with him, Muslim. So what we, what we essentially say, so what we essentially say to you is that we invite you to that and then it will give you a whole holistic way of living your life, legal in front of God, uh, recognizing God. You know, you look, you're a lovely couple, but wouldn't, but wouldn't it be, wouldn't, yeah, yeah, but wouldn't it be appropriate, it's a little bit of a camera and they're very excited. So wouldn't it be appealing to you that we recognize our creator, you're a lovely couple, if you have a nice union bond together, 
that will make you legit. And then you appreciate you God. You've got two nice eyes. You've got two lovely, you know, feet. You've got lovely hair. What if God? I mean, and God has given that to you for free of charge, free, which is what you call priceless. If I ask fifty million quid for all four of your eyes, and you I, I throw you fifty million quid, will you accept it? And you go blind for the rest of your life, both of you. Not a chance. Is it for free? He's given it to us. Surely he's worthy of praise. When you, when you just say you're, you're hungry, you get something to eat, the food goes in perfectly. You drink. Who should we be grateful to? And one day, remember, we're all going to perish. We're all going to pop our clogs, as they say. So we've got to be <laughs> ready for this. And this is why we invite people to worshipping Allah alone. Allah is the Arabic word for God. And I'd invite you to become Muslims. Very straightforward. But all you will testify is there's only one God. God sends messengers last message of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then you can slowly learn to inculcate the other tenets of the, of the religion. Would you like to become Muslims today? There shouldn't be, if there's anything stopping you from doing so, then, you know, um, that's something that you can um, speak of. However, if you believe in what I've said to you, by essence, this makes you a Muslim. A very straightforward belief. Everyone should have it, in theory. And that's something that it's very, like I said, the praying essentially, is the major component of the faith. We've got five major pillars. You testify there's only one God, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, God's final messenger, along with all the other messages which came before him, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and so forth. You give charity, 2.5% of your wealth. You fast during the month of Ramadan, which you're aware of. Why do we fast? Appreciate those who don't have what we have. And secondly, to better yourself as well. So it's not, the, it's not the hunger that your Lord wants, but it's the reflection of making you better individuals. And then we go off on our pilgrimage to Hajj, and um, that's once in a lifetime. But the repetitive thing is the five daily prayers, which we should be grateful to give it to God too. So that's the only thing you really have to learn. My friend is still learning. It'll take time, but as long as you've got that intention, and if you're serious about each other, if you're living together, get married. Stop living, try to resist the temptations. And that in its turn will be a blessing for you. Are you that'll be a blessing for you. So when you do become close as a union, legally, then you'll be, your, your matrimony will be blessed. This has always, been, it's always happened, it doesn't matter what religion you are, these are common moral aspects which have been throughout history in every society. So this is why I invite you to become Muslims today. What do you think? What's your name? Jason. What's yours? Alicia. Alicia. Jason and Alicia, lovely couple. So like I said, take that step. What do you think? I wouldn't mind you. You wouldn't mind. What about you, Alicia? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Bless you. I mean, but I'm not you're observing very attentively. Listen guys, are you living, may I ask if you live together or separate? Okay, cool. I'm not, I'm not trying to pray, I'm just trying to make things legitimate for you. So, like if you're serious, that is what you've got to do going forward. So, become Muslims now. We do the Shahada. Have you heard of the word Shahada? It's a testification, you know, testification, which I've already mentioned. I'll say in Arabic, my friend said it about eight weeks ago, lots of people are saying it. After we finish speaking, um, this is on YouTube, by the way. If you're, it's on YouTube, we should have perhaps. So, if, if you want, we'll, we'll just blur your face. If you don't want to be seen, we can blur you out. Yeah, yeah would you prefer that? Yeah. Okay, super. But it just gives another testification of how people are becoming Muslims. And when you watch the channel, it'll mind boggle you away. We do this type of work all over London. Look, so lots of people are becoming Muslims. They're all like, you think, whoa. But anyway, that's because that's a natural inclination within. So as, as I speak to you, it's not eloquence of, on my part. It's God who has resonated this with you. The Arabic word is called fitra, a natural inclination to know your creator. You guys are young, you can feel, oh, thanks for your time. We've enjoyed speaking to you. We'll read that and you will be gone. But the fact you're even here listening more, is not, as I said, any eloquence on my part, but rather it's the intrinsic understanding of, you know, I, I want to know my creator. Become Muslims. Okay, you ready for this? You just simply recite something and then we'll do it separately, yes? Then everything I've said, you reflect upon those points as well, what I've made mention to you. So you can say after me, Jason. Say, Ash Hadu Allah Ilaha Illallah Wa Ash Hadu Wa Ash Hadu Anna Muhammad Rasul Allah. I bear witness. And I, and I testify that there is only one God, only one God worthy, of worthy of worship. And I testify, and I testify that the Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is God's final messenger. You're a Muslim brother. Allahu Akbar. Thank okay. you. Allah bless you. Now, Alicia, your turn. 
So Elisha, same thing again. I'll say it so slowly. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Il Allah. Il Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadar. Muhammadar. Rasul. Rasul. Allah. Allah. I bear witness. I bear witness. And I testify. That there is only one God, that there is only one God worthy, of worthy of worship. And I testify, and I testify that the Prophet Muhammad is God's final messenger. Yes. And you are now a Muslim as well. Allah bless you. Now, you see, in the Islam, how are you feeling first, guys? You feel emotional a little bit? How are you feeling? Are you happy? Or is, is it something? Yeah, because we get all types of different reactions. With ladies, they become very emotional. Even lots of men do as well, to be honest. Because once you hear this and you understand what, what this is all about, it resonates perfectly. So now going forward, we're going to give you a crumb. We've got a crumb to give you a crumb. We've got lots of literature on the table. Going forward now, please, think about what I said in terms of your relationship to God. If you're serious, okay, then I think you're young as well, aren't you? Are you under 18? No. 21. Okay, sorry. So I guessed that wrong. So, but think about that carefully. Marriage would be your next step. Now, we've got something in Islam known as a nikah which will validate your legal marriage. If you think you're ready for that step, I can get a brother to recite the vows. This will make you married in the sight of Allah, our Creator. Not in the sight of man-made law over here. Where, did you know in this country, m marriages would take place, like something like 65% fold within the first three years. Divorce takes place. That's a, lot, yeah. that's, that's a heck of a lot, isn't it? So, we, in the Islamic narrative, like, you know, you're, you're, you're like a, a cloth upon to each other. And there's so many things that we can discuss, but I don't want to inundate you with information. So think about what I've said very, very carefully, because this is a prerequisite if you're both, if you're both serious. And, um, and what we can do, we can offer you contact number if you want to you know, keep in contact. We're here regularly on Wednesdays, particularly between 5.30 onwards. But if, you want to, if you're happy to exchange numbers, then we can speak to you if you need any assistance, any help, any advice, these types of things. We're here for that particular purpose. So please think about what I said very, very carefully. You're now Muslims officially. Allah has blessed you. So, you know, you can tell your family about it as well and see what they have to say. And like I said, that's the main thing I'd advise you in terms of your relationship. Let's go to the table for a moment and, and pick out some literature. Brother, uh, brother, do you want to help them pick out some literature? They become Muslims, both of them. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, another shahada has taken place between a very nice couple here. Um, so when you come into the path of Allah, Allah brings so much mercy and so much ni'mah um, and so much um, understanding. So let's hope they stay, remain steadfast and, and, and strong. Islam is spreading. So anyone who's out there who's a detractor, nothing you can do to stop it. But we invite you to accept the religion because it makes most sense, you see. It resonates with the inclination of these two young individuals and as you watch these repetitive places that we go to you've got to reflect why are people becoming Muslims it's not eloquence or bewitchment on our part it's the resonance that they have so please reflect upon this if there are any detractors over there contemplate and I'd invite you to accept Islam okay Allah bless everyone as alaikum. she asked for a million yeah, which is a bar of chocolate yeah. Okay. Or that's you a mercy could. on you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's up to you how much you choose to think. Uh, <coughs> there's a amount you can give now, and you can give it later. That's going to be up to you. Now you can go to teaching, and well, I would say it would be something of a monetary thing about the percentage for the. Why don't you suggest a gift? Give them out. I'm a poor Christian, so I give a rock amount. But you only give a rock amount. I don't know, I don't want to burden you. I don't know like, the relationship, the dynamic. No, but something, something you like. I don't know, like a gift. What is it? But I'll say, give them not an item, but something of a, that money amount. And you don't have to present it now. Later on, it will be something that you guys will agree to. How much is a good amount? Actually? Uh, I think the, you know the, the last time I think uh, the marriage <coughs> solemnized, which was someone asked for a phone. 
I don't know that phone. But or someone maybe a gift. Just for a horse, bro. The horse. Sim similar, wow. similar situation with the oh horse. Oh my god. I yeah. would say. But make it easy. Make it easy. Horse. Make it easy for. <laughs> every, you know. When's the last time you went on a horse? Bro? Yeah. You don't want a horse. That makes sense. What's the, what, what's the last gift you're looking to get her or you're looking, thinking about getting No, uh, like, it wasn't a gift, it was more of a like, going out somewhere. Yeah, yeah but no, I haven't thought about like, gifts. Yeah. When you go out somewhere, what's the rough amount you spend if you don't mind asking? I don't know, I would say like, maybe 150. 150? Really? Damn, no wonder, Bula, yeah? Bula. Yeah. I would say, um, let's have it as 150 then. Yeah. But I want it in a monetary. Don't speed it. Don't feed it, feed it to her. Give it to her. Yeah. Is that right? Is that reasonable? Yeah. No. 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 Oh. A, a, a suitable time. Oh, no. I think convenient. that that should be. We should mention that when you will give it. This is this is how it works. So yeah. like you give a timeline, but you give it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll say like a deadline and then... Like yeah, correct, yeah. Let's say maybe in two months time and she's happy. Okay, okay. Yeah, Is the brother working at the moment? Yeah. He's yeah. working, yeah? Yeah. So um, let's just say decide uh, and tell us so that we can, I you know, say, let's pronounce... Say uh, three months time. Okay. Yeah, Make it easy for you. If you think to yourself 50, 50 pounds a month, you put it away and then in three months time you can present it to her. Yeah. 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 As her mother, it belongs to her. You can't say, oh... You can ask to borrow it, but it's completely her. Yeah. yeah. And how she chooses to spend it is completely her. Yeah. How, how do you feel about that? It's really yeah, your choice. I'm good, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. 50, 150 pounds, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So I, 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 I need amount. Wali and two witnesses. So you will be Wali. Yep. And uh, Ryan. Your, brother, you brother Musa. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'll, I'll back and you know why? Because, uh, you know, this is uh, the way Allah that tells us, and, and uh, Prophet, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, the Sunnah is his way. Yeah, yeah. Sunnah is way no, means Sunnah means his way, his teaching. <coughs> and as a Muslim, we should follow our Prophet's teaching. Yeah. What kind of Muslim are we if we don't follow his our Messenger's teaching, right? So we Muslim been told to follow our Prophet. Mm -hmm. So nikah or the marriage is a way. Yeah, to formulate our families, right? So nikah will make it allowable for us to live together, right? So, <coughs> so I think we'll wait for, okay. Right. Um, sorry, sister, what's your name, sister? Alicia. Alicia, and your name? Jason. Jason, so. Okay, so I'll recite some portion of the Quran, which is from the Holy Book, and then uh, what's, the, what's the what's the gift are you giving to her? No. It's called mahar, by the way. What's it called? Mahar. Mahar. Yeah. Uh, it's the 150 pound. Okay, and you will give in three installments, right? No, no, and in it, three months time. In three months time. Okay. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Jason and Alicia, right? No, you're right. So, when I say that, will you accept him as a husband? You say, Kabul. You say? Say what? Say Kabul. Okay. Kabul? Kabul means yes. And you say the same thing. Yeah, I accept her as a wife, you know? On, on a condition of a mahar that you will pay to her. Okay? So, once you say that, it's very simple. And then you will be a, a Muslim couple now, afterwards, you know? Very simple, you know, because you know you don't want to live a sinful life. It's God ordained for you, you know. And you made the right decision because I've been with you. Mm. Five minutes before you guys made your decision, I was going to say that look, you guys are new Muslims. For us to leave the topic, yeah, and that you go back to that. Alhamdulillah, you've made the 100% perfect right decision. Yeah. Because yeah. those Muslims, uh, like at a certain age, at a certain point, it becomes. Knowledge becomes a responsibility upon us as a judge of what it is. As you guys are proactively gaining knowledge, uh, the burden increases at the moment. With the burden being less, you still make the right choice. So, alhamdulillah, it's even more of a blessing. Yeah. 
No, 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 don't interrupt that conversation. You've got a second witness here. Yeah, okay, inshallah. Okay. Bismillah. We're already, yeah? So you'll be witness and here you'll be. Abi Wali. Oh, sorry, Wali, witness, witness and. Yeah. Witness. Okay, inshallah. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Um, we are here to conduct the nikah, the marriage ceremony. Uh, I have. Um, yeah, okay. I have two witnesses here and I have Brother Ridwan as a wali for the sister. So, uh, let me recite in the Quran and then, you know, let's do it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya ayyuhal ladhi, ya ayyuhal nasu attaqmu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum min nafsin wahida wa khalaqa min haza wajaha wa bassa minhuma rijalan kaseeran wa nisaa. وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا O humanity, be mindful of your Lord who created you from a single soul and He created its mate, Adam and Eve and through both He spread countless men and women and be mindful of Allah in whose name of you appeal to one another and honor family ties Surely Allah is ever watching, watchful over you. So be fearful about Allah and make sure that you treat one another well. And Allah always say, Ittaqullah means fear Allah. So any relationship to be protected, you, we should be fearful of Allah because Allah is watching you. Like even if you are dark time, in a home, wherever you are, if you think no one is watching you, Allah is watching you. So Allah laid out and Allah remind us that we, Allah created us from one pair, Adam and Eve. And Allah said, you get married so that you will find tranquility, you will find contentment within yourself, right? So having said, of course, Brother Mustafa already given you a, a, a long nasiha, alhamdulillah, uh, the etiquettes of the marriage and all, all, all of the things he mentioned. So uh, Jason and Alicia, so, Jace, Brother Jason will give you 150 pounds as a mahar within three months' time from today. Will you accept him as a husband? Sir Kabul. 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 Did you hear, guys? Did you hear? Alhamdulillah, we are here. So, are you taking her as a wife on the condition that you will pay the mahar of? 150 pounds in three months time and look after her as, as a husband's duty. Would you accept her? Yeah. Sir Kabul? Kabul. I mean, we heard that, yeah? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. So the, now, Alhamdulillah, is very simple. So this, now you are married couple in the sight of God. So, so now you are legally, in the sight of Islamic legally, you are married couple. So may Allah bless your union. And uh, inshallah, we'll share with you some books and some reading materials that you can go take home and you know build your family inshallah and just like brother uh, Mustafa mentioned it's not, it's not about marriage, marriage is the start point the journey starts now right and the journey of procreation is through pleasing Allah like you know how we procreate is there is a way right and the best way is when you submit yourself to Allah then you will follow his commandment and the truly whoever follows the commandment of God they will have true peace and that's why the islam whoever follows islam they will have peace because it means whoever follows islam they will have peace but islam means submission but through submission the true peace comes so inshallah may allah you know grant uh, you all the goodness for this marriage may allah accept you and accept all of us and inshallah um, look forward to see you in another time inshallah and my brothers wanted to give you some g dates, so then nikah gift, yeah. Brother, take gift, yeah, uh, 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 dates, yeah. Brother Ashik, and we have some chocolate as well. Um, anyway, uh, we can we can conclude it here. Assalamu alaikum. Okay.